guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on my video my sister over here is hiding because she's looking a hot mess we'll just hear her wonderful voice but we are here to talk about dune 2021's version of dune as always whenever you see my sisters here we're just right fresh from the theater so this is our general first impression so this is an, an adaptation from a 1965 five, right that's what I said 1965 book uh dune from the same name um they are there is also a adaptation from the 80s 1984 I did not see that particular movie I have heard that it's super super weird and strange and I don't know if I want to watch it but if you've seen the movie let me know down below what did you think about it uh the book I did attempt to well listen to it because I already know I love me some audible books I didn't get too too far it was pretty early on um but, but it was really hard to follow I'm not gonna lie and then the audible book just wasn't working anymore so I just returned it and I got my damn credit back but it was really hard so this movie technically was not like a anticipated movie like it is for a lot of people of course this is one that has been pushed back uh, due to the pandemic this is going to be a two-part movie hopefully just depends on how well this particular movie uh, does if we're going to get a part two uh, but just know it is a two-part deal and you can currently check this one out in theaters and on hbo max first up eddie I liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you had warned us that it was going to be a two-part. They did leave it on, on that, that you expect that second part. So I'm really hoping that this one does really well and that they bring in and bring out the second part. Mm -hmm. This, to me, it seemed like more of a... I know some people don't like that whole informative part of how everything is coming to. But I think they did it very well to let you know why. I mean, they, they give you enough clips to make you understand why they did stuff the way mm -hmm. they did i'm trying not to do the spoilers but it's yeah, hard to spoiler free you guys spoiler free for me it's it's still weird to see dave batista in movies all these wrestlers going <laughs> actors yeah i mean i know it's sort of like acting on that wwe stuff but it's still weird yeah yeah they're getting better yeah. Zendaya, I, I always love her yeah i i'm a huge <laughs> zendaya fan i, I love me some this one like knows her all the way back from shake shake it up right is that how it's called yeah. i mean i didn't fall in love with her then but like man i love me some zendaya yeah. she's she's a very talented young woman uh, mm -hmm. going you, you see her going into big stuff yeah i like the main character guy timothy chalamet i yes. love timothy chalamet as well um I feel like I've seen him in something else, but uh, maybe not. I you don't know. probably have. He comes out. He was in uh, Lady Bird. He was in. Oh, um, what's it called? A uh, Pretty Woman. The new one, not Pretty Woman. Little Woman. The yeah. French Dispatch. The one that I want to see. Yeah. He's in that one as well. So basically, he had two. So Timothy Chalamet had two movies come out this weekend, uh, Dune and The French Dispatch. Well, technically, The French Dispatch is like a limited release on the twenty second. That what they were yesterday? Was that the twenty second? Yes. And then it's gonna go come out like fully next week that's why we couldn't find like a lot of tickets but i'm very excited for the french dispatch you guys that's the uh other review that we're gonna get for the month as far as like bigger reviews um it's just this that's one that's the one i'm not gonna get to see that's the one that you're not gonna get and that's that's my anticipated movie of the year because i love love the grand budapest hotel so i'm just like i'm looking forward to the french dispatch we'll talk about that one next week <laughs> i don't even know where where to begin i really enjoyed it like everything of how it's filmed for a second i'm like this is giving me some star wars but but not at all you know with all those ships when when they were coming down right yeah, i'm like everything's just awesome i really wish that it, it does really well and that they're gonna do a part two make sure you go watch it watch it in theater you don't even feel that it's two hours when it was <laughs> over i'm like is that it yeah i was like um, hold on you gotta keep going yeah <laughs> even though she said that it's just gonna stop i'm like i didn't know i was gonna stop like that but i actually liked it of him embracing yeah who he's supposed to be i know i'm not really sure what exactly that is but i'm like i'm like here for it yeah, <laughs> yeah. i'm just guessing he well from the con from without the spoilers from some of the other scenes mm -hmm. and from what you can tell from the i'm guessing trailers He's supposed to be some kind of great leader. They have some weird names, you guys. Yeah, uh, I ain't gonna remember. Our, I think there's one that starts with an A and there's one that starts with a B. The dad was the one that started with an A. And then the mama was the one that started yes. with a B. <laughs> they got weird names. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna just jump in here real quick. If I had to actually read the book, 
I wouldn't have gone very far because I, I would have chopped those names up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so thankfully, I had the Audible book, but like, I just, I just know that if I had actually read it, I don't even think I would have got through the first chapter because it was so hard to get into the book, and that was like Audible. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, sorry, sister. I keep interrupting. <laughs> Go. That's it. You just need to watch it in theaters. So we did see this in Adobe Cinema. It is filmed in IMAX, but personally, our IMAX seats are smaller and more like constructed, and like we don't like that. We're not about that like tight life. So the Adobe <laughs> the Adobe seats are much wider, and then you can lean back, especially for like a two and a half hour movie. Definitely need that in my life. But let me tell you something, you guys. I'll tell ya. We have an Oscar contender here. It has wonderful cinematography. It has a great score. It has great acting. The sets you guys hear, I don't know how exactly how much was like filmed, you know, on location, with, on location or like, you know, cause I can never really tell because I'm not like, I'm not like a film film person like that. Sound? Uh, I did say did sound. You? Did you? Yeah. I said sound, right? Yeah. Well, score, mm -hmm. sound, that kind of, I put that, the musical portion of it, like just music in general, I put it into one with one that deal. I mean, oh, the color palette of the of it also was really great. I know we did mention Zendaya. I will go ahead and let you guys know this. Zendaya, her big moment to shine, if we hopefully get it, again, go check this movie out, especially in theaters if you're able to. Zendaya is gonna come out more in part two because that's gonna be the whole thing about the desert people and everything. Timothy Chalamet, like I said, I love him. He's a great actor. Love me some Rebecca Ferguson. Um, uh, What's his name? Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa, yeah. yeah. He did really, really good. Like, he, uh, he was a great soldier. I really liked his performance here as well. Um, I would have really liked to see him without a shirt though. Yeah, that would have been nice. <laughs> I love that little like protective deal, like when they're fighting and they're yeah, like, ooh, like that, shield. that the shield. Mm -hmm. It's so cool, like the special effects, you guys, really awesome. It's really a great sci-fi adventure. Now, unlike them, I did feel the length, unfortunately. It did take me a bit to get into it. The first part of it, was pretty dull. I mean, talk about like a part one, you guys. I mean, it does have quite a few like like action scenes and those are great. They're choreographed very well, but we don't really get too much because we are, again, building up a story, building up a world, which this world is amazing. Like my sister said, it, it's not gonna be for everybody, especially if you are somebody who just loves action-packed sequences and you need stuff going like this, this is not gonna be for you. Again, the director really wanted um, to do this into two parts because there's just so much to be included that he's like, I can't do this in one. Well, there's no way. Before you guys click on this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. This is something that's kind of dropping in the middle of my 13 nights of Friday. And next week, again, we're gonna be watching the, well, I'm gonna be watching the French Dispatch. <gasps> Sister, we might, I think that'd be kind of cool though. We might do like a two for one because she's gonna see last night in Soho and I'm not gonna see that because it's kind of scary, it looks scary to me. So we might do like a double um, review. review. Oh, Plus, she only gets like five words, so it, it, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be more of my review for the French Dispatch. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and put our little card up right now and Eddie. Medium. That's right. Actually, give it a large. Large, and I'm giving it a medium as well. It is beautiful to look at. Again, score, the music, performances. I mean, technically, everything is great. It, the, the main issue for me is the pacing. Sorry, my phone keeps ringing. <laughs> it's the, it, it's the, not even like the pacing, it's just the length of it. I felt it, but it's a good movie. I do recommend it. All right, that's it for me tonight. Well, today, I'll see you guys tonight for night number Something. Eight, say, I don't know. Nine. I don't, nine? I think we're talking about the Wolfman tonight. I think that's the next video. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.